This idea of having some sort of emergency economic thinking that would replace basic economics in times of emergency, is this a flawed idea? Yeah, I mean, the way you have to think about this is that if you're trading off long-term economic growth and vitality for short-run economic relief, that's a bad trade-off. And uh, so in our families, for example, we oftentimes, uh, you know, violate prudent economic rules because of a crisis that hits. But what happens is once normal times return, we then balance our activity out. So we might draw from our savings because we had a flood in our house. But then, you know, when we repair the flood, we then start filling the coffers back in. But in the cauldron of politics, we tend not to do that. And so what happens is that what we do in the short run is we try to provide all kinds of things for relief, but then we never really balance it. And so as a result, we destroy our long-term economic growth. And so that's just the nature of politics, which is to concentrate benefits on the well-organized and well-informed in the short run and disperse the costs on the unorganized and ill-informed in the long run. And, you know, it's, 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 uh, we, what we do in, in emergency room economics is we simply embrace that nature of politics and we end up by always picking policies that give us too much short-run relief and not enough long-run economic vitality.